hi friends welcome to this new video so today we are going to create a new kind of dashboard the name of the dashboard is HR analytics dashboard so we have HR data today I'll attach the data in the description box okay so that you can also practice but before like moving further in this video what I'll do I'll show the final dashboard to you the preview of the dashboard how it will look like after building the dashboard okay so this HR analytic dashboard will look like this okay so uh, this is very interactive very informative dashboard it shows total employees attrition count attrition rate active employees average rate age of an employee okay we can select the data based on gender we can select the data based on their marital status it also shows the comparison between active employees and attrition count by department also it shows active employees by education field it shows a table of job, a job satisfaction rating it shows the comparison of active employees by their age band based on their gender one more thing it shows which is active employees by education and their gender the next thing which it shows is average of monthly income by their job role and the last thing is average of their performance rating by different department okay so this is very informative there are certain slicers there are certain donut chart there are pie chart uh, there are column chart stacked column chart clustered column chart clustered bar chart and we have one heat map as well and one line chart uh, area chart as well okay so we will uh, see this how to build this kind of dashboard from very basic from very scratch what you have to do you have to just download the data set from the description box and just follow this step-by-step -step procedure so finally you will also build this kind of dashboard okay so we will start from very basic so <clears throat> this area is called as canvas where we will build the dashboard okay so we know what is the first step for creating the dashboard the very first step for creating the dashboard is to load the data so today also we are going to use excel workbook as our data source so just click on this excel workbook okay select your file so this is hr data we'll just open it okay so it will take 10 to 15 seconds to get load okay now uh, this window will show the preview of the table so what we are what we will do we will select this hr data table okay so instead of loading we will click transform data because we have to make some changes in this table <coughs> okay we have to make some changes in this table so just click on the transform data okay so it's loading it will take uh, like 15 seconds to get load so I'll tell you what changes you have to make so I have observed the data carefully I don't know whether you have observed one mistake in this or not see there is no column header okay but in first row the column headers are present okay so what we have to do we have to change the first row as a column header so this power bi has a special tool for this right so just select HR data table here we have an option use first row as an header just click on this option okay now observe the first row is used as column header okay we have the column headers for each and every column okay now one more thing which we have to do here is <clears throat> we don't want this attrition by yes or no we want this in numbers for yes we want one for no we want zero so that we can count attrition so attrition is nothing but how many employees leaves the organization or we can say they resign from the organization okay so what we will do we will sort this column based on condition okay so what you can do you can just go on add column and in add column you can select conditional column so just click on this conditional column so one dialog box will open <coughs> okay so it will ask for the condition so just type the new column name so new column name will be attrition count okay so new column name is attrition count if column name which call on which basis we are like applying the condition we are applying condition based on this attrition column is equals to if it is equals to yes then we want output as one 
else we want output as 0 so just click on ok so you will see at last there is new column for yes we have 1 for no we have 0 so this column shows attrition count so just change the data type to whole number okay so that it will show summation so the next thing is you can just click on close and apply our transformation is done now we will measure certain things which are not in this data set but we want to show in our dashboard okay so i'll tell you what and how you have to do before that the next step is we have to check the connection in our model right so as we have only one table today so there will be no connections okay so i'll show you how it will look like this so just go to this one it's loading so 1470 rows are loaded so on the right side after yeah now it is loaded see hr data table is there so if you click on this one model icon okay so there is only one table so there is no connection okay so we don't have to build any connection today so just go on this table so if you observe carefully our hr table is here okay so the first thing there is no calculation for attrition count yet okay so what we will do we will click on new measure okay so as we want to find out attrition rate so the name of the new measure will be attrition rate which will be equals to attrition count okay so sum sorry here we will uh, see attrition rate will be equals to attrition count divided by total employees right so what we will do we will use divide function here divide so the numerator will be sum of attrition count the de uh, denominator will be sum of employee count yeah sum of employee count okay after that blank you want and then okay instead of this what you can do you can put double quote okay so now we have a measure of attrition rate after attrition rate we want one more measure which is active employees so active employees will be nothing but total employees minus this attrition count okay so we will again go on this new measure okay the name of the measure will be active employees okay active employees will be equals to total employees okay so it will be sum of employee count minus sum of attrition count okay so it will show active employees so all things are done now so we have uh, our attrition rate attrition count active employees total employees and we have their age as well the next thing is uh, now we can start to create the visual for creating the visual we have to go on this report page okay so when you will go on this report page you have to select the background first so I'll tell you how to decide the background so there is one website which is called as colorhunt.com okay so basically you can go on this website okay so there are so many combination of colors so today we are going to use this one okay so this uh, three to four colors we are going to use for building our dashboard so basically it is based on color contrast okay each and every color so you can decide at your own which color you want to use so our background color will be this one today so you can just copy this color code okay and you can select the color based on this color code while creating the dashboard okay so we are going to start building visuals now okay so 
the first visual will be we want to show some numbers right to the management so the numbers for total employees attrition count which we have calculated attrition rate active employees and average rate okay so what we will do for that we will use card visual so how to select card visual here on the right side in visualization tab we have this one so this is called as card visual so before that we will apply the background okay so for applying background go to format your report page this icon after that go to canvas background okay and select the color so the code uh, will be this one we have already copied okay so just paste it here go to more color and paste so it is not visible right now because the transparency is 100 percent so just reduce it to zero percent okay now our background color is visible okay the next thing which we will do today is uh, we want to show the numbers right so five numbers we want to show the first one is of total employees so we will select this card visual okay so let's say the size of this card visual we will put it as 95 into 165 so basically in this what we want to show we want to show employee count means total employees okay go to general go to properties the size will be 95 into 165 you can like select the size by your own okay so the next thing we don't want this one employee count to be here okay so what we will do uh, we will put a title okay so title we can give from here just enable it so it will be total employees okay now if you observe carefully this one go to visual category label we don't want today okay and call out value we want to be in bold basically uh, this total employee should be in center so we have to just center align it so go to general go to title and this select this option center okay and also try to make it bold as well okay now it is in center and one more thing which we can do here is uh, we can disable the background basically so text color what we will do uh, first we will disable the background so the background will be in effect go to effect background disable it now uh, we will use text color as this one copy this code okay uh, go to title text color paste it here so this color we will use as a text okay and also for that 1470 what we are going to do uh, go to visual call out value and again the text color will be same this one okay this is done now what you can do the second thing is we want to show attrition count but we want to show here five values okay so what we will do we will just quickly copy this visual so in power bi you know you can directly copy the visuals as well okay so three we have done four five okay in this visual we are going to show attrition count so in untick this employee count okay this is the attrition count uh, just we have to change the title instead of total employees we will show attrition count or churn account okay for the third visual we are going to show attrition rate so instead of this one we will show attrition rate and the header will be like title will be instead of total employees we will give attrition rate okay for the fourth visual uh, it will be active employees right so again title instead of total employees we will give active employees and here instead of this employee count we will select active employees which we have calculated 
so active employees is nothing but total employees minus attrition count the next one here uh, this instead of this total employees we will select age okay and the title of this one will be average age but it is showing summation of age right so we don't want summation of age actually so what we will do we will just select this okay so here for age you can select average okay average of age so it is 36.92 but you don't want decimal places so what you can do just go on this one go on call, call out value so value decimal places just select it as zero okay so we have all over five kpis basically okay so we will just arrange this so what you can do you can just drag it till here okay and first visual will be here let's say before that we will add one icon and select all five now so we will distribute it horizontally so after selection go to format okay click on align and click on distribute horizontally so it will get distributed according to equal space okay so this is done now the next thing which we are going to do today is okay uh, we are going to create the visuals so the very first thing which we are going to do is we are going to create one clustered column chart for active employees and attrition count by department okay so just select this clustered column select active employees and attrition count so we have department right here okay so on x-axis we will put department on y-axis we will put active employees and again we will put attrition count okay so we will keep the size of this particular chart as 255 by 300 you can select the size accordingly according to your space now we will just edit this so for editing the first very first thing is we have to disable the background go to effect disable the background the next thing is for title so title is good just center align it make it bold the text color is the previous one okay now visual border you have to enable color of the visual border you can keep same as text okay and roundness corner you can select 15 15 looks good shadow we don't want actually the next thing is again some like numbers on x-axis and y-axis these are not visible actually so what you can do go on x-axis select values make it bold color select this one see now it is visible and for same title on x-axis make it bold select color as this one it is visible then uh, same, same things you have to do for y-axis okay values make it bold select the color and again for title as well so you don't have to do this for each and every visual i tell you what you can do you can just copy the format of this visual and you can paste it on another visual so after creation of the visual it will look like this now here this legend are not visible so just select this visual again go to format your visual uh, we have this legend option here so for legend text just select bold and again text color as this one now it is visible and it will be good if you select top center okay so now this chart looks good so we will place it after some time the next chart which we are going to create is donut one so this is the visual for donut okay so in visualization tab select this icon donut chart click on this one so 
we will show active employees by their education field okay so the values will be active employees and the legend will be education field okay this so what you can do now you see for pasting this format to this visual okay uh, so before that we will color the grid line as well so go to this one select grid line instead of dot it'll select horizontal yeah now it's looking good okay so what you can do just select this visual click on this format painter and paste it here so almost everything will get paste it so select the size of this visual as 255 into 380 go to general properties 255 and width 380 because I have calculated the space available previously the next thing in this visual which we can show is legends are on data labels are on okay uh, before that what we will do just I'm press yeah so uh, the very first thing we will format this donut chart differently so basically go on general go on effect first disable the background for title make it bold text color same center align then this is done effects are done go on this one data label values make it bold select color as this one okay and uh, these are called as legend so we have the option for legend as well for text make it bold select this one yeah now it is visible and the size right uh, only border is also remaining so basically for border go on effect visual border color same roundness corner 15 okay and uh, on the size right so the size of this visual which we will keep is I have told previously 255 into 380 okay so almost everything is visible so we can place this visual now so we will place it here okay and we can drag this visual and we will paste it here like this okay now the next visual which we are going to create is active employees by their age band and we will use column chart for this okay so select column chart as a visual so on this we are going to show active employees on y-axis and on x-axis we are going to show age band okay so just copy this format paste it here okay the size again it will be same it will be 255 by 300 So you can just drag it like this. And you can drag this one as well. Okay, the next thing, the next visual, see we will format this column and this color at last okay the next thing is we have to create one heat map for job satisfaction rating so for that what we will select we will select this one matrix visual okay so in this matrix visual 
uh, on rows uh, what we can do we can uh, sorry in columns we can select uh, that job satisfaction rating on rows we will select different okay so for this matrix one what we will do uh, on rows we will select job rules see job rule will be visible then in column in column we will select job satisfaction okay and we are calculating these things for active employees so we will drag values as active employees okay now our matrix table is done so we will just format this table now again same formatting we will use so what you can do see first effect background will be off visual border will be on same border color will be same roundness corner will be 15 this is the basic formatting okay after that what we will do go to visual okay so you can select the style okay so you want horizontal grid line as well right you want vertical grid line as well the color of both the grid line will be same this one grid is done then values you want it to be bold and the text color will be same again background color we want this one so that the values will be clearly visible again alternate text color will be this one and alternate background color will be this one so that the values are visible okay values done the next thing is column header so for every text we have to give same color and for background color same this one so that the column text will be visible and just center line it okay and uh, after text row headers right so for row header same text will be bold color will be this one okay and background color will be this one now our mat uh, matrix table is like completely visible just then uh, column subtotal so for column subtotal what you can do select this one values again bold values will be this one background color will be this one okay so column grand total bold text color will be same background color will be this one and one more thing is a row grand total is remaining so again text color and background color done okay now see uh, if you observe carefully it is not showing the uh, like heat we want to show the heat in this particular uh, chart right so heat is nothing but based on the number it should decide the uh, color so here go on cell element basically so what we are going to do we are deciding background color of this cell element based on one function okay so for minimum value we will select this color gray one and for maximum value we are going to select this red color okay click on ok so see based on the values the color is there right so this is called as a heat map okay so the size of this table we will put it as 255 into 380 and we can give the heading as well so the title will be job satisfaction rating so there are so many visuals which we have to practice in power bi okay just center align it yeah this is done now so 
uh, what is the size currently it is 262 okay height and the width is 380 so we can set the width as 380 and height as 255 so that we can place it here okay we can drag the table to see the numbers basically so almost they are visible as well so no need to drag okay the next thing here uh, the space is remaining so in this remaining space what we can do uh, we can create one line chart which will be for average monthly income by job role okay so we will select this visual uh, area chart okay so on y axis we will keep job role on y axis we will keep job role on x axis we will keep monthly income but we will keep average of this one Okay, we will select average later on, just resize it. Okay, and one more visual which we can create is performance rating by department. Okay, so uh, here in this age band, we can select one more thing. Uh, we can classify this as an gender as well. So in Legion, just drag gender. So it will sort the data. Uh, automatically based on gender as well Okay, and uh, one more thing which we are going to do here is average of performance rating by department. So for that we are going to use which chart we should use here. Uh, we will use this donut chart here. Okay, so performance rating we have. So values will be performance rating and based on department we want to show so we have department here okay so legend will be department okay the next thing here in this uh, chart we will just copy the format of this one we'll paste it here okay we will just uh, we don't want to show this thing okay data label so we will just format it go to this one disable data label okay and this one uh, this legend the, we will change the position of legend to top center and we will place this chart here actually let's just decide the position of this chart based on space And one more thing here we don't want to show legend title so title we will off okay we will disable the title so that we can use the space available space the next thing is we can show active employees by their education and gender okay so for that we are going to use this bar chart so we will place the bar chart here we will use the entire available space okay and uh, for this on y-axis what we can do we can keep education their education on x-axis we can keep active employees okay the next thing is we can directly copy the 
form it and we'll paste it here okay done if you want to show the numbers you can show uh, now one more chart which is remaining here is we will select this one area chart so in this area chart what we are going to show uh, we will show mm, basically job rule on x-axis we can keep we have this one job rule here on x-axis we'll keep job rule basically and we'll convert this first in column chart and basically on y-axis what we can do we can keep month day monthly income okay so instead of sum we want average of monthly income right and we will convert this into area chart or we should keep in that one only okay we will classify this into two types basically uh, what we will do average of monthly income here and uh, we legend we can select gender let's try to select gender how it will look no gender we will get. okay so this looks good okay it shows average of monthly income by their job rule so we will just copy the format okay which format we should take this one we will take copy we'll paste it okay now the very last thing which is remaining is to provide the button like which will act as a filter while selecting anything so they are called as slices right so we will provide slices for their gender and for their marital status so I'll tell you what you have to do. We have this space remaining, right? So in this space, we will provide slicer. So for slicer, you have to select this visual, okay? So in this slicer, what you can do, you can keep this one, their gender. So we have to just drag this gender into the field. We don't want slicer to be in this form, right? Uh, so right now we want slicer to be horizontal. So instead of vertical, we will select horizontal here. So button will appear okay we will just reduce the size basically and we will drag the slices here again we will just reduce this slice uh, sorry size okay and we will copy this slicer one more time and we will paste it here so basically we want one more slicer so in this one we want to show their marital status so instead of gender we will tick on marital status okay now we will just format this so again we don't want background so background will be off we don't want this one slicer header okay and uh, basically yeah for values font color will be this one and the background color will be this okay uh, this is not clearly visible so we will select one more color we can keep this one basically so here background color select more color paste this yeah and uh, what you can do uh, instead for values instead of this color you can select black so black will be visible and make it bold just copy this format from here and paste it here okay this is done so we have slices as well now what we can do we have this available space right in between these KPIs and our visual so select all go to format group this and just drag it little bit
okay this looks good now what we will do we will just add the icons here so I have some of the icons I'll show you how to add this go to insert okay select image okay so I have this five icons so you can select the icons one by one okay we will just resize this icon go to general go to properties so select height as uh, 100 yeah this will be fine and width also as 100 okay so place it so for okay for this we will use this icon for average reach age this we will use for total employees okay uh, this we will use for attrition count this we will use for attrition rate and this we will use for active employees okay our background is done now only one thing is remaining which is the heading of this particular dashboard so for this we are going to use text box okay so the heading will be HR analytics dashboard okay we'll just reduce the size of this text box we'll just drag this text box to here expand it to till available space okay select this one increase the size you can select the size as 24 I guess yeah we can make it bold again the text color you can select similar but instead of that this color will look okay just select the same color and uh, one more thing go to effect disable the background and just center line it and select the font font you can keep times new roman so it will look good you can increase the size a bit so instead of 24 we can use this one 32 okay now uh, one more thing which we can do here is see everything is done just check it yeah so we can just edit this colors right colors of bars so what you can do first select this one okay uh, we will start from here so for this go to format your visual select bar option so we'll decide the color we will select any light color for this bar okay so we can take this one go to this go to default more color paste the color code and yeah this color looks good then the next color which we are going to select is uh, okay uh, for this visual go to line go to color so we can select this color instead of this this looks good yeah this is fine for this particular visual go to column yeah we have to find the color right for this visual so the one color which you can use is color we should use okay we'll select the color here only so basically go on this one so for the first column we can show with this color and for the second column we can use red color similarly here for female we will use 
so this looks good actually and here for this one slices so we'll just change the color so for marketing here we will use this orange color and for marketing we will use this color so this is done okay this is looking good you can change the color according to yourself okay so i hope you have liked the video so see while creating this dashboard just follow the step by step procedure at the end your dashboard will look also like this so this is very informative just we will check whether it is working or not based on our selection so let's select female here so this is the data only for females so total active females are 588 their attrition count is 87 attrition rate is 14.8 active employees are 501 and average age of female is 37 years right if you want to see the data for male so this is the data average age is same active employees are higher than female as compared to female attrition count is also higher and this data okay so now let's say you want to select only married people how many married employees are there in your organization so basically 673 married employees are there attrition count is also high attrition rate is also high as attrition count is high then active employees 589 and average age of married employees is 38 we'll select the single how many employees are single unmarried so average age is low 35 active employees 470 so as compared to single employees married employees are higher okay then uh, let's select divorced so basically this is the data for divorced employees based on their marital status okay so this is working this is very interactive you can make two selection by pressing control as well so this is the data for divorced and married people okay you don't want divorce so this is the data for married and single people like this you can so in this married and single people you can select one more filter which is male okay so this is the data for this one i hope you have liked this video please like share and subscribe so if you have any queries in this particular dashboard you can just comment uh, comment i'll try to resolve your queries as soon as possible okay so thank you for joining